Shanti Niketan in India is filled with several masterpieces by several masters. But one of the most important, if not the most important, in sculptures is Ramkinkar Bej. Ramkinkar Bej, who came to Shanti Niketan in 1925, had constructed several motifs, reliefs, and outdoor sculptures throughout the Shanti Niketan ashram. Of these, today we are going to discuss about the sculptures which were built outdoor and they are existing in Shanti Niketan. That is, we are not going outside of Shanti Niketan and we are going to the 3D ones, not the 2D ones. So, oldest among these is the Alor Natch. The Alor Natch or the Dance of the Light is situated on the north gateway of the Shanti Niketan Bari. Here, we see an abstract sculpture, but they say at night, when the moon is full, it is a wonderful scenery. So, Alor Natch was one of his earliest works. Then we come to Kala Bhavan. Here, a great Buddha is sitting, made of concrete. This Buddha is constructed by Ramkinkar Bej. At first, Rudrappa Hanji had created one with clay, and then Ramkinkar redid it into a concrete sculpture. Just beside that, there is a small sculpture called Shujata. Now, here we come to a complicated story. The story is that Buddha was meditating and when he finished, he was weak and hungry. Then a maiden came to him with a bowl of paish, a sweet dish, for him. Now the question is, who is that woman? That woman's name is Shujata and the sculpture is named Shujata after her. And here we see Shujata walking over to Buddha to offer him the Paish. But you may ask, why Shujata? Actually, this sculpture was going to be a sculpture of the teacher at Kala Bhavan, Jaya Appa Swami. But while doing it, Bej was told that if he made it like Shujata going to Buddha to offer her Paish, then it would be more visible. So, Jaya Hoegala Shujata. This was done in 1935. Then, at the outer side of Kala Bhavan, there are three sculptures. First among these is the Shantal family, built in 1938. It was originally made of bamboo and later it was converted to concrete. Here we see a Shantal family returning from their market. They are curd sellers and they are holding their children into their curd selling tools, the box. There is even a dog. They are very tired and hungry and eager to get home. Then we have another sculpture, a huge one. It is called Koler Bashi or Mill Call. That is, there are two women have heard the whistle of the mill and they are rushing to the job and while they are rushing, the clothes are waving into the air. And so, a boy is chasing them, trying to catch those cloths with his flute. Actually, this flute is a real flute that belonged to Rankin Corbage. But of course, as you can well understand, the sculpture of the boy is basically to support the huge tartans of the two women. Then we have another one named Srom or Dhanjharai, that is the harvester. But it is a sad story as it was built in a place from which it was dragged over here because there was a hostel to be built and so the sculpture was dragged in pieces to the present location. Ramkinko said he would never touch that sculpture again. But a student of his reconstructed it and now Srom is still standing in its new location. In the Kalabhavan area, 
we also see the statue of gandhi it was built by rankinkar bej with arshid dashgupta this sculpture shows gandhi ji is walking over dead bodies and skulls overall this is also a grand sculpture by rankinkar bej the place i mentioned that was the throne was built here there is a sculpture remaining in front of the girls hostel the hostel's name is birla loy and its sculpture is called the matsho mohish rankinkar originally thought of creating two mermaids here but then he stopped and then he created these matsho means fish and mohish means buffalo so here the buffalo and fish are combined together as if they are bathing into the lake as you know the buffaloes of india are very water addicted so combining these two is a very interesting form now for our last part this sculpture exists near the uttar and complex there is a lake here the pampa sarovar and here we see that there is a fish statue the big fish is eating up the little one this is called the matshonna and this common motif is depicted here in the sculpture by ranking corbage it is very hard to compile every statue that ranking corbage had constructed that is without leaving out the indoor ones and the others besides shanti niketan but overall i think in this documentary you have got an idea of how beautiful these sculptures are and how unique their thoughts are hope you enjoyed thank you